The litter robot utilizes position sensors to determine the position of the globe during rotation. Additionally, the speed of the globe is calculated to ensure continued operation as a backup to the position sensors. If your unit's light bar is red with partial flashing white lights, this indicates that the unit did not detect the globe position during its previous cycle. You will also receive a notification on your phone if you use the Whisker app. The unit may have missed a position or did not reach the desired position within a calculated amount of time. However, the unit will continue to function in automatic mode even with this error. Check that your unit is not overfilled with litter. If the litter is filled above the line, please remove some litter before proceeding. If you recently added litter, the globe could have slowed down enough to trigger this fault. If the issue has cleared after an additional cycle, there should be no issue with your unit. Now, let's run a test cycle. Short press the reset button, then short press the cycle button to run a clean cycle. After your litter robot cycles, it should return to the home position, displaying a solid blue light. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. We will be looking for anything that could slow down the globe rotation or cause the sensor to not detect the globe position, which could have caused the fault you are experiencing. Let's check for any additional debris or foreign objects that may interfere with the sensors during the cycle. Make sure the unit is in the home position. Press the power button to turn the unit off, then unplug the unit from the wall. If you have a fence installed, remove this from the bezel. To open the bonnet, press and hold the latches on both sides of the bonnet, then lift and rotate the bonnet to its open position. Note, you typically need to remove the bonnet completely only during deep cleaning or bonnet replacement. To remove the globe, grab the black handle located on top of the globe and lift the globe off the base. Lift the globe up and away from the base and place it on the ground nearby. This will provide access to the base unit. Let's inspect the globe for any potential issues. There are magnets located in the gear track. These help identify the position of the globe during rotation. If you have disassembled the globe recently, please note that the orientation of the magnets is critical for proper operation. Inspect the globe for damage such as deep scratches, separating seams, or cracked plastic. Also check that the gear track is not loose. Inspect the seal strips on the inside of the globe and ensure they are not peeling up or have any debris, such as cat fur, stuck in them. Make sure the filter cover is fully seated and has not popped out during shipping or cleaning. Let's inspect the base for any potential obstructions. Inspect the exterior top portion of the base where the globe usually rests. Ensure the seal strips around the dump port are not peeling up or accumulating litter. This could impact the rotation of the globe. Inspect the seal strips inside the bezel and ensure they are not peeling up, which can impact rotation. Ensure the globe glider buttons are all attached. Clean any excess litter that you see that may have missed the dump port. Let's inspect the motor area for possible obstructions. Inspect the motor cover to ensure it is fully seated and screwed down tightly. Ensure the gear on the motor is not loose and does not rotate freely. Now that we've checked for any obstructions, let's reinstall the globe and bonnet and check for proper operation of the unit. To install the globe, hold the globe by the black handle and set it into the base. Keep the globe handle and waste port oriented toward the top to ensure the globe is close to the home position. The large black gear on the rear of the globe should easily engage with the smaller white drive gear in the base. If the bonnet was completely removed, rotate the bonnet upward and align the hinge feature of the bonnet at the back of the base. You should hear the latches snap into place. Check to make sure the center tab at the top of the bonnet is secured in its pocket by pushing down on the bonnet at the tab location. Reinstall the fence by snapping it onto the bezel at the globe entrance. Plug the unit in and power it on. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, there's likely an issue with your litter robot. Please contact our customer experience team for additional assistance at whiskersupport.com.